Hey all you super players out there, Ben Lodis, aka Five Buck Lunch, coming at you with a new deck profile. It's also kind of a refresher because I built a Red Green Hercule deck before, uh, but this one is updated with the new cards. There's been two very important new cards added to the game this set for this deck, and it uses a completely different strategy than the old deck. So uh, without further ado, let's get into uh, Red Green Hercule. Uh, first off, this is my favorite leader for those who don't know, that's why I feature it. A decent amount but uh it's just so cool and has such different uh lines of play than a lot of other leaders it's just really unique so for those of you that don't know uh hercule is 5,000 power weaker on both sides than all the other leaders but in exchange he gets a really really powerful effect uh active battle during this card's battle if there are cards in your combo area draw one card then they negate the skill for the duration of the battle when your life is at four or less you may draw three cards and flip this card over so essentially, every single battle that you combo with a card, you get to draw a card. And this helps you set both cycle through your deck and take advantage of your super combos, pseudo super combos, in order to just draw a ton of cards. It's not uncommon for you to get like 20 cards in your, ha in your uh, hand with this leader. On the back side, uh, he does the exact same thing where once per battle when you combo, you get to draw a card. Uh, but he also draws a card when he attacks, so you don't lose out on the attack draw on this side as well. One thing to note is that it's per battle, not per turn, and it's per battle with your leader. So you can't use the effect if your opponent's attacking your battle cards, and you also don't have to worry about using it and not having it for the rest of the turn. Uh, one of the really important new cards that came out in this set is Chi Chi Motherly Majesty. It's a 1k, 5k for zero. If you have two or more red-green multicolor cards in your energy, then you combo with this card, draw one card. So when we combo with this, it essentially draws us two cards due to our leader's effect because we get to draw for the Chi-Chi and draw for the leader. So this helps us even more in generating our advantage. Another important thing is it doesn't cost a mana, unlike the old pseudo super combos where they were 10k for one. This is a 5k for free that just lets you draw two cards. Uh, the testing that I've done for this deck, you're going to want to use these as soon as possible. Saving them is kind of pointless since you can only draw once per battle. It's not like you can play a bunch when your opponent attacks you and get the full benefit. So early in the game, if you have these on like turn two after you've played your two red-green uh, energy pieces, you can just start uh, throwing these down on your attacks and drawing cards right away. The only exception to that would be if you're playing something that gets rid of your hand like uh, Gogeta 7 or something like that. Uh, four of Broly Demonic Origins. This is just the uh, the free energy, multicolor energy for red green. Uh, three Dormant Legends. So our strategy with this deck is going to revolve around the Broly Tragedy Foretold and Broly Rapid Barrage, and for that we need a Dormant Legend in our discard pile. Now there is what this card does is actually irrelevant because we're never going to actually play it. It allows you technically, after you've taken 4 damage, to bring out Broly Rapid Barrage from your deck, but we're never going to play this card because 2 energy is way too much for that effect, and it relies on our opponent attacking us. What we're going to do is use Bulma the Problem Solver, which is another new card out of set 8. It's a 3-drop, 5k for 0, uh, 1k power. Uh, permanent, if you have a red-green multicolor card in your energy, reduce the cost of this card in your hand by 2, so it becomes a 1-drop. Uh, auto, choose one red or green battle card in your deck that you cost a two or less and place it in your drop area, then shuffle your deck. When you play this card, draw one card. So what we're going to be doing is playing this for one, drawing a card, and using it to send Dormant Legend immediately to our discard pile. Uh, the reason that we're playing three Dormant Legend and not just the one, because we only actually need one in our discard pile for our Broly effects, is that we don't want it to end up in our energy or to have to draw it in our opening hand, and all of a sudden now we can't send it with Bulma. So we have to play multiple copies. Unfortunately, it's a dead card when we draw it, but we can either discard it for Topo Righteous Aid, or we can use it as an energy either way. Uh, three is a Blaze of Glory Sun Gohan. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, this is the red version of when you combo with it, you mill the top three. So we're going to be using this to set up our one of our win conditions, which is K.O. Ken, Sun Goku, Defender of the Earth. We need 20 cards in our discard pile. With the cycling ability that our leader has, and with the fact that we should be comboing pretty much every battle and drawing cards, uh, it's pretty easy to get to 20. These are just to help. A lot of times you end up like 4 or 5 short on turn 5, so we're using this just to get us there. Our super combos are the 
uh, World Tournament Super Combos, Martial Daughter Chi Chi and Vegeta Power Misused. One cool thing about Mar World Martial Arts Leaders is you can use different color super combos, which allow you to eat more easily at rival cards because you have super combos in both colors. Uh, they also work at five or less, which is kind of cool. Uh, most super combos only work at four or less. Uh, Piccolo Master and Pupil. This is a cool card that I've been wanting to use for a while. I've been trying to find a deck to put it in. Uh, it's a two drop, 5k power, auto burst three when this card attacks. Look at the top five cards from the top of your deck. Choose one battle card with a combo power of 10k among them. Add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So this card does a lot of really good things for us. One, it searches for all of our win conditions and arrivals. So Broly's, uh, KO Ken, Pseudo Super Combos, searches all those off the top of our deck. It also bursts three, which helps us get to our 20 for KO Ken really easy. Uh, this is a really good card. Um, you're not going to play it a whole lot against fast decks because you want to have the energy open for your arrivals, but against more control decks, this card is really, really good. Uh, three copies of SS3 one, Goku One Hit Wonder. Uh, three drop, 5k for zero, 15 power. Uh, when your opponent's battle card power is decreased, which both of the Broly leaders do, or I'm sorry, both of the Broly arrivals do, uh, and he's in your hand, you can play him for free. And then active battle for one red. Send this card from your drop rate to your warp. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards. It gets minus 5k power of the duration of the turn. The reason we play this is because both of the Broly's lower power in the in the combo. So between that and these, a lot of times you can get up to KOing cards you wouldn't normally be able to reach. Three copies of Vegeta the Cruel. Uh, it's, it's the counterplay for green where... You can uh, put it in play for two if you have a multicolor energy. You get to KO one of your opponent's battle cards for or less, and your opponent has to warp a card in their hand. This is very useful because with the Broly's effects of preventing your opponent from comboing and this, you're, it becomes very restrictive on your opponent's hand. Also, it's just a good solid card option to have on your opponent's turn. It's also a 5k combo green card, which we need. Four Topo Righteous Aid. We're playing four of these because we need to have a plan against baby decks or decks that attack as a bunch in one turn. Baby decks especially because their guys become very large. Uh, between this and the fact that they're going to be having to discard two cards, and the fact that you're drawing so many cards on your leader ability, you're going to be having way more cards than them if they decide to go in after you topo them. Uh, we also play four. One nice thing about this deck is since we get to cycle through and see a lot of our cards every game, uh, getting to topo is very, very easy. So you usually have two to three topos by the time it gets to a turn where your opponent will be threatening you with baby. Two Broly Rapid Barrage. This is the smaller version of Broly. It's a four drop, red, green, 1k for one, arrival for one red. You can only have one in play in your battle at a time, and you can't play it unless you have Dormant Legend in your drop area. So once again, this is what we're using Bulma to get Dormant Legend to our drop. Uh, Otto, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. It gets minus 10k for the duration of your turn. Uh, another auto, when your opponent combos, you may choose one card in your hand and place it in your drop area. If you do choose one card in your opponent's combo area and place it in their drop area, then negate the skill for the duration of the turn. So once per turn, when our opponent combos, we get to discard a card to take that combo and put it in the drop area. Important note, this does not prevent things like Chompa from giving double strike. It does also not stop them from drawing off of super combos because that's an effect that activates immediately. However, they do not get to keep the combo power for that card. So basically, we're using this to force our opponent to combo extra cards to both defend themselves and attack us. Uh, two Chompa Beerus Capricious Gods. Uh, four drop, 1k for one red yellow, or I'm sorry, red green. Arrival for one red. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, 20k power or less, and KO it. Then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy of 6 or less. Or I'm sorry, one of your battle cards' energy 6 or less. Gains double strike for the duration of the turn. So we can use this not only to KO things in conjunction with our cards that minus power like Broly or Goku or Big Broly. So that allows us to kill things that are 35 or less rather than just uh, 20 or less. And it also allows us to give our Broly's double strike because neither of them have double strike. Two copies of each pseudo super combo, um, Breakable Super Saiyan Son Goku and Inferno Villainy Cell. Uh, they help us with our arrivals because they're both red and green. And they help us draw cards because when you combo with it, you get to draw a card. So we'll get to draw two cards because of our leader. 
Uh, one important thing to note is usually you'd be playing more of these, but I could not find space. This deck is incredibly tight on space in terms of because you want to play four copies of your Chi Chi. You need to play Blaze of Glory in order to get your KO Kim win conditions. You need your Bulmas for your Dormant Legends. It's just really, really tight on space. Uh, so I couldn't find an area to put more of these in. Uh, Broly Tragedy for Toll. This is one of our win conditions. Um, six drop, 1k for one. Arrival for Red Green. Permanent, only one Broly for Toll can be in play in your battle area. And you can only play this if you have Dormant Legend in your drop area. When you play this card, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and they get minus 15k power for the duration of your opponent's turn. When your opponent combos with a card, you may choose one of their cards in your combo area, place it in its owner's drop area, if you do negate the skill for the duration of the turn. So this has the same effect as Broly Rapid Barrage, where we get to put one of our opponent's combo cards into their drop. However, it's free. We don't have to discard a card to do it, we just get to do it once per turn every turn. Uh, an important thing to note too is negative 15 plus Chomp Abiris's, uh Kill a 20, care less, kills pretty much every card that isn't a secret rare in the game. And then if you have a Goku, you can even kill secret rares, because that's 40k power. You just minus it by 20, and then uh, Beerus kills it because it's 20. Um, one important thing to note with the Beerus effect is that combo power isn't added on until the end of the combo step. So even if they combo a bunch of cards, you can still kill their their card. So that means basically for 4 energy, you can kill energy anything, and for 3 energy, we can kill most things. Uh, one copy of SS, uh, SSB Gogeta Resonant Explosion. Um, we play one of these as kind of another way to kill things that our opponent won't necessarily see coming. Uh, it's nice because between this and Champa, you can kind of cover all cards uh, pretty easily. It is a arrival red green for one red. Uh, when you play it, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, energy cost of four or less, and KO it. You can't play this card for the duration of the turn. It's just kind of nice, a trick to pull out that your opponent might not see coming. Also, an important thing to note is this card naturally has double strike, which a lot of our other cards don't. Then we're playing our main win condition, which is KO Kenzo, Goku, Defender of the Earth. Uh, seven cost, uh, green, red. Uh, 1k for one, has deflect. If there are 20 more or more red-green cards in your drop area, reduce this energy card at this cost by 2 because it becomes a 5-drop. Which, by turn 5, with our cycling with our leader and Blaze of Glory, we should have 20 cards. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Oh, that, that's the wrong card. Uh, auto, when your life reaches 1 for the duration of the turn, this card gains triple strike and dual attack. And it can't be KO'd by your opponent's skills. Active main, choose one card in your life, add it to your hand, your opponent reveals their hand, you choose one card from it, place in the drop, it gets plus 25k power. Uh, this is one of the best finishers in the game because it has deflect, gains triple strike dual attack, it becomes enormous, and you basically get to take a bunch of cards out of your opponent's hand, you just rip all their negates and try and go for game. Uh, one important thing to note is since we're playing Hercule, if a lot of times our opponent won't attack us because they want us to get that five card draw, we get from Awakening. But if they don't attack us when we drop our KO Ken, we're going to be able to rip just four or five cards out of our hand and it's immediately game over. As opposed to if they attack us, we only get to rip a couple out. Either way, when you drop this card, it's 90% of the time, probably even higher than that. It's just game immediately. Uh, they have to have a ton of negates or they have to draw a negate off of our attack, assuming they're not at three or less. This deck is very, very strong. Uh, it has built-in ways to beat almost every deck. If your opponent is playing a deck where they need to, uh, where they have like big win conditions, you just kill their win condition when they attack with it via Broly and Beerus. And if they are playing a slow deck, you just KO Ken them and try and win that way. If they're playing a rush deck or a baby deck, go wide rush ducks are actually really bad against Hercule because every time they attack, you essentially get free combo power and draw power. Uh, and if they're playing baby, you just slap a topo on their uh, topo when they attack so that they can't attack through you without discarding a bunch of cards. The big weakness of this deck is Gogeta, Gogeta-based decks, because your massive hand doesn't matter if they're just going to put your hand down to three. One thing about that, though, is you can usually come back pretty easily. You just have to prevent yourself from awakening. Do not awaken until they drop Gogeta, essentially, no matter what. Even if you have to not play any cards and just combo to stay up, those cards usually aren't super the deck usually aren't super aggressive anyways. So don't awaken until they go GDU, then just awaken and you'll get all of your cards back into your hand. 
So yeah, uh, this deck all around, I really like this version. You can play aggressive with Piccolos you can, and dropping Broly's early. You can play really passive and finish with Kaoken. This deck is just really versatile and really strong. I highly recommend you go out there and try it. If anyone has any more ideas, please put down in the comments. Please like, subscribe. Go out there, play some super, and have some fun.